हेलो एवरीवन आई असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर प्रगति शेटे फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी के जी सोमैया कॉलेज इन दिस ऑनलाइन लेक्चर वी विल स्टडी अबाउट द प्रोटोजोवा प्रोटोजोवल पैरासाइट कॉल्ड एज दी जी आर दिया ओके सो विल स्टार्ट विद द वेरियस स्पेशीज दैट आर अवेलेबल दैट आर प्रेजेंट ओके सो दैट विल इंक्लूड द जी आर दिया लैम्बिया जी आर दिया इंटस्टैनलिस ओके जी आर दिया डिओडन डिओडिनालिस ट्रोफोसाइट ओके सो फर्स्ट इफ वी लुक इन टू द हिस्ट्री ऑफ दिस प्रोटोजोवा इट वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाय द एंटोनी वेन ड्यून हॉक और राइट द जी आर दिया लैम्बिया एंड लेटर ऑन द अदर स्पेशीज हैज बीन डिस्कवर्ड नाउ द जी आर डिया लैम्बिया इज द फ्लैजलेटेड प्रोटोजोवा पैरासाइट that will colonize and reproduce in the small intestine okay in the small intestine that will cause the giardiasis the infection which is produced due to this protozoal parasite giardia lambia is called as the giardiasis the giardia parasite attaches to the epithelium okay to the adhesive disc in the intestine all right that we will see in the later slide in the pathogenesis so first we will see the structural the morphological properties first in the giardia duodenalis can also be called as the giardia giardia intestinalis and the giardia lambilla okay lambilla then that is called that is causes the the responsible this species are responsible for causes giardiasis this are most distinctive of the flagellas this is the most distinctive of the flagellates okay giardia lambia or the giardia intestinalis this species is the distinctive species from the flagellate right as i mentioned it is the flagellated protozoa so it is very unique due to its flagellated properties and the structure now it has both a trophozoic and the cyst stage now we have discussed this stages in the life cycle of the plasmodium the cyst and the trophozoic okay in the giardia lamblia both the stages are present the trophozoite also and the cyst also what is a trophozoite it is an infective agent infective stage right it is the spore like stage in the life cycle of that protozoa parasite okay now coming to the giardia duodenalis trophozoite right now the trophozoite form of it so this trophozoites you can see in the picture these are binucleated okay binucleated with both nucleus up two nucleus are present looks like a face now you can see in this structure in the picture they resembles a face right and having the size 12 to 15 mu meter all right then ventral surface bears adhesive disc that will adhere to the surface of the intestinal cell <clears throat> okay so you can see in that above picture below picture there is the ventral surface will bears an adhesive disc that will adhere to the surface of intestinal cells all right now the how many flagella are present the eight flagella are present two interior flagella two posterior flagellas two ventral and two caudal flagellas and all the flagellas will arise from the kinest kinestome okay the kinetosome now you you can see in that picture they have shown the structure of the trophozoite this is the ventral view all right and this is the lateral view now if we look into the picture there is the anterior flagellum present okay two anterior flagella then what is the 
kinetosome it is the main point from where the all flagellas are initiating all right then the region for adhesive disc you can see right on the surface it has the disc that will responsible for adhesion to the intestinal cells so this surface will adhere to that cells right now you can see two nucleus ventral groove you can see then there is the median body which is present at the middle of the structure then posterior flagella that are also two and the two ventral flagella plus two end flagella that is the caudal flagella are present so therefore total eight flagella will be there and therefore it is the most distinct flagellated protozoa all right then this is the structure now the median bodies that is present right that is behind the adhesive disc and the function of that median body is still unknown okay now we will see the cyst of the giardia duodenalis now we saw the trophozoite form right now we will look into the cyst form now in the cyst the cyst forms as trophozoites become dehydrated and when they pass through the large intestine okay a cyst is a smaller form it is a circular structure okay and in this case it is ovoid in the shape having the size 8 to 12 micrometer long into 7 to 10 millimeter micrometers wide thin cyst wall it will contain you can see in this structure it is having the thin cyst wall inside that four nucleus are present right four nucleus are present then they are most commonly usually concentrated at an end okay now the flagella shorten and are retracted within the cyst which means this flagellas are not present outside the cyst structure it has covered or it has entered it has stored in the inside structure interior part of the cyst right otherwise in case of the trophozoa we can see flagellas are pointing outwards but in this case flagellas are pointing inwards then axomeres all right axonemes provide the internal support you can see there are the in this structure there are the axonemes present these are two strands right this will provide the internal support for their adherence all right and for their structure capabilities then this well feeds on the mucus that forms in the response to the irritation now this we saw now we saw these three forms of this giardia duodenalis first one is its own giardia duodenalis okay then the trophozoa and then trophozoite form and then cyst form all right now we will see how they or where they are present now they will feed on the mucus fluid mucus substances that will form in the response to the irritation in the body all right also they can absorb vitamins and amino acid they interfere with absorption in the host especially lipid they interfere with the lipid absorption okay then giardia can also interfere with vitamin and the nutrient absorption right as we have discussed earlier it can interfere with the vitamin absorption nutrient absorption all right now vitamin a absorption in the vision vitamin d in the rickets both of this are due to long standing infections okay so in this we can understand that giardia species or the protozoa 
it will feed on the mucus okay then it will interfere in the vitamin absorption nutrient absorption lipid absorption in the host right now we will see the symptoms okay so basically the giardia will cause the giardiasis what is giardiasis it is the infection in the intestine okay producing the dysenteries or the stools okay loose stools so that called the infection in the small intestine it will cause and that is called as the giardiasis all right now the symptoms will range from asymptomatic stages to the chronic diarrhea right as i mentioned it causes the descent it causes the diarrhea so the range from none of the disease to the abdomen abdominal discomfort abdominal pain that will cause acute or chronic diarrhea and other gastrointestinal signs so this is very expected because it will interfere with the small intestine right so it will cause some signe signs or some feast clinical symptoms for the gi tract also right it will affect that gi tract okay then what kind of type of the diarrhea it will cause it will cause grey greasy voluminous malodorous diarrhea which is very harmful type okay it can cause flatulence all right so these are the main symptoms of the giardiasis majorly we can say that it is responsible for causing the diarrhea okay and gi tract infections okay now this including this it can cause abdominal pain acute or chronic diarrhea right then it the special characteristic or we can say what makes it special against the from the various type of the diarrhea so it will produce the grey greasy and the voluminous diarrhea which means in the larger volume okay then it will also produce the flatulence now in the giardia duodenalis the giardia trophozoites are attracted to the bile salts they will naturally attracted to the bile salt therefore in the bile ducts infection can be present right why because bile salts are present there and if and since the the giardia species are attracted to the bile salt so they will naturally move towards the bile ducts therefore it can also cause the bile duct infections okay and the gall bladder infection which causes colic and jaundice all right this is the chronic infection stages for this infection from the giardia protozoa now this is irritating but not life threatening infection this disease as we can say it is not very mild disease but it is not as life threatening as caused by the entamoeba histolytica we have studied in the last online lecture <clears throat> about the entamoeba histolytica in that we saw that it will cause the invasive infections also right so in the invasive they will interfere entamoeba histolytica will interfere with the blood with the brain liver spleen kidneys so that infection will be light threatening infections right compared to that it will only interfere with the small intestine and in the rare cases it can cause the bile duct infection or the gall bladder infection okay then after symptoms now we will see the pathogenesis and the pathology 
all right now the nutrient malabsorption and the physical <clears throat> blockage and damage to the micro microvilli this is the root of the entry to from the entry it can contaminate it can invade or it can transmit into the host via the fecal contamination contaminated water all right contaminated food okay then nutrient malabsorption due to that physical blockage physical blockage will damage the microvilli okay then trophozoites will attach to the small intestine how they will attach because they are having the disc present on their surface which will help to adhere to the intestinal cells right and therefore they will cause damage to the intestinal cells via the mechanical way and via the toxins productions all right now first step will be what the fat or the lipid digestion decreases and causes mal digestion which means reduction in the digestion then absorption will decrease if the digestion process is getting reduced then automatically the absorption will also getting reduced down right then that stage this both together causes diarrhea okay once the protozoa enter into the body it will adhere to the small intestine okay then to the small intestine they will cause damage due to that damage <clears throat> sorry due to that damage the digestion will be affected and as digestion is getting affected the absorption of the nutrient will get affected and since both of these processes has been decreased down they will result into the diarrhea as we know if there is no proper digestion or if there is no proper intake of food then that will that will cause the diarrhea right the dysentery problems or the gi tract infections then physical damage what it will do the clubbing of villi and that will decrease the villus to crypt ratio brush borders of the cells are irregular and due to which there will be affecting rate or the rate of excluding the food or the nutrients from or the food and the waste from the body will get affected all right then this is the physical damage this is the pathogenesis or the and the pathology okay so we can say once the giardia species enters into the body via the contaminated food contaminated water okay then it will do the physical blockage okay then it will damage the microvilli in the intestine okay then the in it will go into the intestine it will adhere the trophozoites in the giardia will adhere right to the intestinal cells and then it will damage those cells due to that damage what it will result into the it will result into the reduction in the digestion and therefore reduction in the absorption of the nutrients and food and due to this both the processes that will result ultimately into the diarrhea okay that will cause the diarrhea which is the giardiasis okay in this online lecture we have studied structure we have saw the trophozoite form and the cyst form then we have then we have studied the symptoms pathology and the pathogenesis okay the pathogenesis or the root or the how this giardia 
is doing its role of the spreading infections and causing diarrhea right i hope you understood this online lecture if you have any doubt regarding this please ask in the comment section thank you for watching